What's going on everyone and welcome back to some more Sponge Plugin Programming. Today we are going to be going over event listeners that we will be using in order to reward experience as well as level ups for our skills when certain actions are complete, such as with the mining skill when the user mines an ore. We'll be putting all of these listeners within our skill manager class, at least the ones that relate to the skills. But before we go about adding in those event listeners, we want to change up our accounts configuration file by adding in a skills node that will contain all of our skills, as well as the current levels and experience points for that skill per user. So let's go ahead and navigate on over to our account manager class and get this code added. So where we want to put this is just within our create account function. And instead of this, let's just delete that and change that to accounts config dot git node uuid dot two string. And like I said, we want to go and contain all of our skills within a parent node that we're just going to call skills. Within this node, we will have our mining skill. And within that mining node, we will have our level value which we will set to one. And let's just copy and paste this right below it. And also instead of level, we want experience, which we will set to a default value of zero. Now both of these nodes are contained within this parent skills node because later on with this, we will be able to easily grab all the skills contained within such as the mining skill and do whatever we please with them. Now, once that is all taken care of, let's head on over to our mining skill class. And we just want to change a couple of things here. The first one being changing this from a capital M to a lowercase m. And then we want to prefix all of these or names with Minecraft colon, like so. And again, over here for the iron ore, Minecraft colon. Now, the reason we're prefixing these with Minecraft colon is because when we retrieve the block from the event listener that we're going to make later on, it's going to return the name of the block as, for example, Minecraft colon iron underscore or. Now, if we go about adding this on here, we don't have to do anything else special later on. Whereas if we get rid of this, we'd have to end up grabbing a substring of the block name that is retrieved, retrieved from the listener. And that's just extra work that we don't necessarily have to do. So we're just going to prefix it and it'll be smooth sailing. So that's all that we need for our mining skill class for today. Let's head on back over to our account manager class and create a getter for our configuration or our accounts configuration file. This way later on we can use it within our skill manager class to actually go and change the experience and level values for a player. So just right at the bottom here, public configuration node get accounts config and all we want to do in here is return accounts config like so now once that is done we can head on over to our skill manager class to actually get started on the event listener first thing we want to do before actually creating that event listener is just create a couple of variables here the first one being a private account manager account manager as well as a private configuration node accounts config. Now we can initialize both these variables within our skill manager constructor here. Account manager equals plugin dot get account manager. And that's just going to grab the account manager from this main file here using this getter function right there. So with that, we can now use any and all public functions within our account manager class, including our public get accounts config function that we just created. So let's use that accounts config equals account manager dot get accounts config. Now we can actually work on that event listener. Let's navigate on down to the bottom here. And whenever we create an event listener, we need to have the at listener annotation like so in order to tell sponge the code that's going to be following this is a function that we want to or that's going to be a listener that needs to be checked whenever the event happens in this case a break block event or a change block event and let's import that 
This will be a public void on block break change block event dot break. Import that. And we'll just call this argument event. At the moment, all we want to do in this listener function or this event listener is just create some variables that we can use in the next video in order to actually reward the player with experience and use that to check for level ups. So first variable we want to create is a player variable equal to event dot get cause. Let's go ahead and grab the cause of the event dot first. Grab the first occurrence of the player class. And we want to get that. Then using that player object, we can grab the UUID. We'll call it player UUID and import that equal to player dot get unique ID. And we want to create a string variable for the block name. And this will be equal to event dot get transactions. This will go ahead, grab a list of block snapshots dot get the original or sorry, dot get zero, get the first, get the first block snapshot within that transaction or within that list, dot get original. And this will go ahead and return the original block snapshot. And with that, we can do get state dot get name. And all that code will give us a string version of the block name. And that'll look something like this. And now since we have that, later on we can go ahead and determine how much experience we should reward to the player and also check to see if there's even any experience to be rewarded with that block. And the final variable we want to create is int exp amount equal to integer dot parse int. And the integer that we want to parse will be skills config dot git node mining and the block name that's in the way dot get string and we don't want to have this code be executed so we're just going to comment it out right now otherwise it will return an error in the console because we're not properly handling it at the moment because there is a chance that there won't be a node called mining followed by the name of the block so we're just going to comment that out in order to avoid that. Next time, we will most likely be going over a proper check to prevent that from happening. But for now, just comment it out, and we'll come back to it later. Now, the last thing we want to do in here is just send a message to the player using player.sendMessage. Text.of. Then the message. You broke. Followed by the block name. And import that. Now, if you were to run this in the current state, this event would not fire, and that's because we need to actually register this whole entire skill manager class as a listener within the main class. So let's go ahead and get that done right now. Let's head on over to our sponge skills class, and let's inject another variable here, which will be the private game game, and import that. With that done, we want to actually register it, like I said, and we can do this within our init function right here. And all we do is game dot get event manager dot register listeners. And it takes in two arguments, which will be the plugin, which is just this, as well as the skill manager object. Like so. Now with all that done, everything should be working properly now, so let's build it. And once it is done building, go ahead and start up the server, and then we can test it out to make sure that everything is working properly. Now what should happen whenever we break a block, we should see in our chat that you broke, followed by the name of the block that we broke. And as you can see, it is prefixed with that Minecraft colon, which again is why we went about prefixing all of the blocks within here with the Minecraft colon as well. Again, just to make it easier. So with all of that working, that will conclude this episode. Next time we'll be making it so experience is actually rewarded to the player when they break a block that is specified within that skills config. 
and it'll go ahead and do all the checks that are required in order to get that working properly. So thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.